Wake deftly tricks the reader into believing the cult of the tree is the story's antagonist. Return shines a light on an author's brilliantly dark mind. It's the time for Koska Brothers to Hello, I'm Ilma Koskela, and welcome to the Koskela Brothers Book Club. This week, we will review the highly anticipated new novel by Alan Wake, Return. Return is printed on a firm, high-quality, white offset, uncoated paper stock, making every page a true delight to turn in your fingertips. Alan Wake's brilliance is on full display with his choice of a hardcover book jacket made of a premium enabled stock with gloss lamination that is both tasteful and pleasant to the touch. Isn't that right? Wake set a high standard with his previous novel, but I can say without hesitation that Return contains the best and most compelling book description on a back cover that I have ever read. This book blurb is truly riveting and will keep you on the edge of your seat from start it is accompanied by a tasteful photograph of Alan Wake's home here in Bright Falls. The book weighs one pound and three ounces. Return is a true masterpiece. I'll give it a perfect score of five Alma beers out of five. How about you? There you have it. Alan Wake has done it again. This was the Costco Brothers Book Club. Cheers. I needed to get a copy of Return. I needed to read the ending to have a shot at changing it. I was inside Scratch's ending, a perverse version of reality. The townspeople brainwashed. Everyone and everything revolved around Return, as if it had just been published. A spellbinding tour de force. The worlds and characters echo each other in unique and surprising ways. The tragedy of the population is a place in commentary. The stage fight scene, departure. windows of the writer's room in the photo. That's where I had to go. To rewrite the ending of Return. Sick, sick story! Oh, oh, no. No. Oh, no. room to stop this horror story. This was an obsessive, egocentric nightmare, all revolving around a vain monster of a writer and his final divine work of art. The novel returned come true. It wouldn't stop here. It would keep spreading. to find another way inside. Alice? What was that? Alice was dead. Was this a trap? Or was Scratch torturing me?
He's very pushy. Rose, right? From the diner. How are you here? <laughs> I'm here to save you, silly. I got your instructions. I found every hidden message you left for me. In the radio, in the wind, in the forums on my Alan Wake fan site. What? No, Rose, I haven't been leaving you any messages. Oh, I get it. Yes, Alan, only a crazy person would think you've been leaving them secret messages. <laughs> Wink. But now you need to get your butt upstairs, Alan. This shit won't write itself, no matter what William Shakespeare said. Right. Thank you, Rose. I'll do what I can. Upstairs. The writer's room must be in the attic. That's where the windows were. We loop around and come to Keter, Tom. I have put everything ready for the visitors. I'll come to wash the floor of your room next. All you need is water and Vileda. Water is the oldest bulb. Water finds its way. What water brings, it takes away. It can be clean or dirty. It can give life or drown it. Akti. I didn't expect to see you here, but it makes sense. Can you help me find my way? One last time. Oh, now there's a devil in the fist trap. Don't be spooked by it so that shit won't start beating your underpants. Okay, I'll get the door open for you, Tom. There you go. The matter is a stake. Now comes the end of the ride. Thank you, Ahti. here. I needed to write the ending. I only had one chance to get this right. Return's ending was an eternal deer fest that would keep spreading. Given time, Scratch would plunge the world into his nightmare. I had to stop that from happening. I had to write one more chapter for Return. took everything already in return and extended it into a conclusion that would save us. Only the perfect ending would work. A perfect ending that would save us all. I was the only one who could write it. Everything depended on this. On me. Any second now, Scratch would burst through that door to stop me. Every plot thread dangled in my brain. It suddenly felt impossible. Something stirred in the room, coming to me. An idea. The ending has to fit the genre if it's going to work. In a horror story, there's only victims and monsters. If there is a hero, they will ultimately pay a heavy price. I won't let the horror story take Logan and Casey. They would.
were dragged into this. They need to survive. Non-negotiable. Not just them. We need to try to save everyone. The ending will have to be dark no matter what. The more people we save, the greater the cost. And the hero must pay the price. The scales always need to balance. Something felt different. I'd never seen myself in a vision before, but it fit. Saga and I were both at the center of this story. She was now my co-author. This was the beginning of the end. We were characters in a horror story, charging blindly towards the finale. We still didn't have everything we needed. This would not work without the clicker. What's going on? Am I in the field office? No. It's the mine place. My work. It's all gone. What the hell is happening? I can't sense anyone. Where is everything? Nothing's working. I can't think straight. I can't leave. Why can't I leave? The Dark Presence took over Casey, stole the clicker from me. The last thing I remember is him throwing me into Cauldron Lake. I'm in the dark place. I'm lost. I don't know how to get out. I don't know what to do. That wasn't me. Was it? What? Failed who? What's happening to the case board? says I failed them. Who's them? I let everyone down. Logan, Casey, myself. This is my fault. My daughter is dead. My partner was taken over by a monster. I'm trapped in a dark place. Powerless. I'm not powerless. What is happening here? This isn't me. Casey. Casey depended on me, and I let him down. I wasn't watching his back. I got wrapped up chasing the wrong lead. He needed me. Now he's turned into a monster. He needed me. Logan. I neglected my family for my job. I was too thrilled by the cases. The mysteries. I liked how dangerous the work was. And now that danger has destroyed my family. It killed my daughter. 
No. I am a terrible mother. I let my daughter die. Deciding what I get to do, how I get to do it. He took my daughter from me. I'll never be free of this story from him. He used her. She's not dead. God damn it. I'm done with this. It just keeps coming back. Something's very fucking wrong here. I hated him. I never should have trusted these. Night Springs. Logan and David love that show. Their weekly ritual. This case, this room, is any of it even real? Casey was hurt. I should have been watching his back. He was being corrupted, and I did nothing. Scratch was wake. How could I miss that? Why is this happening? What's happening? It feels like I'm trapped in a nightmare. Stuck in an echo chamber with all my fears, my doubts, my insecurities. What? No. He's using Casey now, like he used Wake. What the hell?
I spent too much time away from Logan. Logan. The horror story used her. I'm happy when you call this maniac. I never should have left Casey at the hotel by himself. The cult was just the beginning of the spiral. It was so obvious the Koskala brothers were behind the cult. Come on! I hate this, but it's all true. I had tried to silence these thoughts, focus on the case, but I can't escape them anymore. I'm drowning. I need a way out before I'm dragged under. be a way out. I need a way out. Oh god. None of this is real. I've lost it. I'm not even here. The mind place isn't real. A case about supernatural darkness. I'm having a full-on psychotic break. I dragged Logan away to a tin can in Watery. She's dead because of me. There has to be a way out. I need a way out. It's over. There is no point trying. Everything is lost. There is no way out. No way to fix this. There's no way out. I'm stuck here forever. Just me and my past. My guilt. My mistakes! I'm not getting anywhere. I'm stuck. But this is my mind place. My mind. Everything I need is here. It, it has to be. Oh! The lights! No. No. I'm not giving up. Focus, Saga. The answers I need are here somewhere. I just have to look. No. I'm not reading anymore. Hey, Mom. Hey, Mom. I made you a charm bracelet. For good luck. Good luck. I made a matching one for me, so bring me back something cool from Washington. My badge. Never should have taken this case. Hey. Just calling to say thanks for your note. Sometimes, Sometimes I just I get in my head, in my head too, much. too much. So, so thanks for pulling me out. out. You're really You're the best, really boss. Really. really. Okay. okay. Talk soon. Talk soon.
years in uh, law. After Rand left, it was, uh, well, well, I was in a bad place. You dragging me to those dinners at your house with your family, uh, it really uh, meant a lot. Thank you. Thank you. online and it made me think of you. Okay, what are you doing? Don't make a big deal out of it, Mom. No hugs, no hugs. Scratch was too much for us. I should have made KC stay behind. Knife in the arm is just, just part of the part job. Of the job. You're, You're gonna keep gonna fussing, fussing, you can get the hell out. Look, 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 leave the whiskey. whiskey. I am honored by this award. Thank you. Thank you. While our agency must continue to improve, the work we do here, protecting communities, pursuing the truth, it's the most important work there is. I can't let this place make me question myself. I know what I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm doing. Fuck, no! Our job is dangerous. Casey himself told me that. It's no one's fault. It is, it is. God damn it. I'm not a perfect mom, but I'm doing my best. Logan was just being nice when she gave me that mug. I never deserved her. What the fuck? It's not too late. I can still save them. No matter what I do, someone will get hurt. I don't know what to do. I'm afraid. I'm my own worst enemy. The fears in my head are stopping me from trying. From leaving. No, this is all real. I know it is. The FBI will kick me out. I'll have nothing. It's okay to be afraid. But I can't let this end here. I can't, I can't, I can't! I just... I just want it to stop! Giving up won't make this stop. Logan needs me. Casey needs me. I 
I've made mistakes. I'll make more. But I can do better. And I can start by leaving this room. I'm afraid... it will hurt. But nothing will hurt more than not trying to save them. It will hurt. But I will fight. The Dark Place tried to trap me here. The only way to leave is facing it head on. Wake called it a nightmare. I need to dive into that nightmare and find a way back home. was ringing. Somehow I knew the call was for me. 